All right, fellow Americans, so we just got the verdict. Trump is guilty on all 34 counts. I am an open, um, proud Trump supporter, and I saw the guilty verdict coming. I mean, it's in the cesspool that used to be New York City. What can you literally expect at this moment in time from them people? I think this is great. <clears throat> Honestly, I think this is really, really good. I know you're thinking, Jake, how can this possibly be good? This is awful news. This is this is death of the America that we know it. When all reality, folks, is you couldn't be further from the truth. This is the birth of the new America as we will um, as we will know it in the future. Today was May on paper look like a loss for Donald Trump, but that is not the case. I want you to think about it for a minute. Regardless of this verdict today, there was still um, going to be an election this November. It was still going to be between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. People are still going to have the right to vote for Donald Trump, and most likely Donald Trump will win. So what did you just do? Well, you just kicked the hornet's nest filled with Trump supporters proud Americans and you expect them to just go away that's that's not the case that's not what's going to happen today tomorrow it's certainly not what's going to happen to November if you guys can't tell by now then you really need to pull your head out of the sand because Trump thrives off the negative publicity because he knows that the number one thing Americans dislike, distrust more than anything in this country right now is mainstream media. So this is great. We don't want the media to be like, yeah, go Trump. Trump's innocent, all that. It sounds queer, uh, weird and um, strange, and I understand that. But think about it right now. We don't trust the media. The media hates Trump. What does that tell us? It tells us that Trump has yet to sell out the American people. He's still laying it down, folks. He's still the number one guy. He's fighting for this. You know why he's guilty? Because he's not playing along. Guys, I have a lot of faith. I believe that America will rise from the ashes. We are in a tough time. We can't say we're not. This country has a history of black eyes sort of say we got a history of bad times we got a history of conflict. we got a history of conflict so um yeah there's that all right guys um short video i'll come back later with more all right take care